Hello everyone, welcome to Nepal Online School. Yo video ma hami SMAT exam preparation ko idiom ma nervous and anger related idiomatic expression or where they so hey nervous like kun kun idiomatic expression le zonosa or anger like kun kun idiomatic expression le zonosa bani kura yer so zunza important so hey da okay so the first one is blowing hot and cold blowing hot and cold so Blowing hot and cold when I go kyota one night if someone is in confused state. Confused state, afraid or nervous. If someone is afraid or simply nervous, we say blowing hot and cold. Aba maile isko tapailai example dear a buzaina sentence dear a buzaina kini gamla sentence chahi deina simat ma just tamila isko meaning is the bono was a good meaning chahinza that's why I will just say isko meaning or mate eh? okay next one is sit on the fence sit on the fence so fence bone goes a bar and a key to property or malaga go bar and send it this my boss no one ever money goes so sit on the fence means avoid making decision so you are confused and you are you are avoiding to make decision it's like i mean sit on the fence one era one so sit on the fence one era one so okay next one in a fog in a fog okay so again in a fog means preoccupied so if you are preoccupied with something if you are preoccupied with something you do not pay attention right so not paying attention or simply confused one goes hai in a fog one era one go okay next one important uh idiom hai topsy-turvy topsy-turvy so topsy-turvy means a state of confusion hai use hai a confusion ke state line hai topsy-turvy one era one so so we have experience this topsy turvy situation before one era one so we have experienced this topsy turvy situation before okay next at sea or lost in the cloud or lost in the cloud okay at sea or lost in the cloud one go kyota one like again perplexed Perplex means extremely puzzled one era one ego. So confused name one ego at sea or lost in the cloud ko meaning. Next one at sixes and seven. There is what is so they go bani sa use bani daily life ma unza a. So at sixes and seven means uh, state of confusion or disarray. State of confusion or this array is at sixes and seven okay i don't know where i put my books it's at sixes and seven okay next is in a fix in a quandary in a quandary or in a muddle or in a muddle in a fix in a quandary or in a muddle you want to go to one head if you are in dilemma if you are in dilemma you can say in a fix in a quandary or in a muddle simply dilemma means confusion so her thoughts were in a muddle when i when i proposed her her thoughts were in muddle her thoughts were in quandary on era one milsa okay next one at once wits end so at once wits end means completely puzzled completely puzzled so completely puzzled means perplexed right puzzled boy okay next one alphabet soup alphabet soup there is what you use by go idiom or alphabet soup alphabet soup means uh, confusing language or incomprehensible just like comprehends gonna suck it in a business suck it in a this lie 
अल्फाबेट सुप भनेर भनिन्छ यो चाहिँ मेनली धेरै तपाईले एब्रिविएसनहरु युज गर्नु भयो भने देखिन त्यसलाई चाहिँ अल्फाबेट सुप भनेर भनिन्छ इन कम्प्रिहेन्सिबल अर कन्फ्युजिंग ल्याङ्ग्वेज अर कन्फ्युजिंग ल्याङ्ग्वेज सो दिस इज अल्फाबेट सुप ओके नेक्स्ट वन गेट अर हैव once wires crushed once wires crushed so have once wire wires crushed or get once wires crushed bhane ko ke ho ta bhanda kheri confused confused because of what because because each person has different idea because each person has different idea so if you fail to understand someone you can say get one's wires crushed okay different idea so yo bhayo ah ki the confusion ko lagi nerve ah sorry ah confusion ko lagi idiomatic expression okay let's see blowing hot and cold sit on the fence in a fog topsy turvy at sea lost in the cloud at sixes and sevens in a fix in a quandary in a muddle at once wits end alphabet so get once wires crushed one that's okay so these are the idioms for for what for confusion tiksa so yeah has a confusion okay confusion go like Okay, next is anger. Anger. So, what about the resource? I know risk will be kicky and me use gorna socks home when they could have me over here. So, first one is up in arms. First one is up in arms. So, up in arms means what? If you are very angry about something, you can say up in arms when I run a sock in the so. आर्म्स भनेको चाहिँ हात हतियार भन्ने कुरा भयो हात हतियार उठाउनु भनेर भनेर बुझियो बट बट के त एक्ज्याक्टली त्यो पनि हैन अप इन आर्म्स भनेको चाहिँ इफ यु आर एक्सट्रीमली एंग्री अबाउट समथिंग यु क्यान युज अप इन आर्म्स ओके नेक्स्ट वन इज बाइट समवन्स हेड अफ बाइट समवन्स हेड अफ ओके सो बाइट समवन्स हेड अफ भनेको के होला त कसैको टाउको टोक्ने भनेर भनेको हो त होइन है सो यु आर एक्सट्रिमली व्हाट इन बाइट समवन्स हेड अफ मिन्स यु आर एक्सट्रिमली एंग्री एक्सट्रिमली एंग्री अबाउट समथिङ सो यु क्यान से हिज मदर नियरली बिट हिज हेड अफ वेन ही गट हिज न्यू सु न्यू सुज डर्टी भनेर भन्न सक्नुहुन्छ यसको म लेख्छु है त ओके His mother nearly beat his head off when he got his new shoes dirty. Noya jutta four banana ko boy ra. Usko ama sa ek dumay risaun boyo banana ko rasa. Okay, dirty banana ko rasa. Thik sa? Okay la. Next one, hit the roof. Next is hit the roof. Okay, hit the roof means again angry. Just say, Ram's parents are going to hit the roof when they see the damage he has done to their cars. Okay, let me write this too. Ram's parents, parents are going to. <coughs> going to hit the roof when they see the damage he has done to their car to their car one of one of the socket okay it's like today you say okay hit the roof um beat his head off about the belly यही नहीं सेंटेंस में और वो और इडियम पर निराकरण सकते हों सही नहीं सही हो माती को सेंटेंस में रखूँ हिज मदर 
is going to hit the roof when he got his new shoes dirty. Right? Same meaning also. Yeah, the pile of uta example baata ne bojna sakhnu huncha. Okay, next is get one's goat. Get one's goat. Get one's goat also means to be angry. Next is in a half. In a half. On ne kura cha. And another at dagger strong. At dagger strong. So dagger one ko ki ho ta chura jun to chakku jasto huncha ni haina so that is dagger so at dagger's drawn bhanne kura cha so at dagger's drawn means almost ready to fight almost ready to fight if someone is almost ready to fight you can say at dagger's drawn bhanera bhanna sakinchha the two schools have been at dagger's drawn for month the two schools have been at dagger's drawn for months bhanera bhanna sakinchha Next is mad at. I'm mad at him. Okay. Or next is mad as a hatter. As mad as a hatter. As mad as a hatter. And next is black mood. Next is black mood. One era one. One or two. I am in black mood today. One era one. No boy. One era one. I am extremely angry. One era one. No sakhiyo. I even depressed. One era one. No sakhiyo. Okay. So next is blow a fuse. Blow a fuse. So blow blow a fuse means you suddenly lose your temper. Just the fuse zani suddenly unsa ni? Na koi ko fuse zani ho. So you suddenly lose your temper and become very angry. So blow a fuse. What me gura bol? Okay. Next is eat someone alive. Eat someone alive. So Nepali ma bani matala katche khai din so bani ra bani man bani zan hai na. Oh, so when when someone as someone annoys you and like irritates you, the pehle you gura likhna sakno unsa eat someone alive. Eat someone era. Sorry, eat someone alive bani. Take sa. Okay. Hmm. Next is. Get in someone's hair. Get in someone's hair. So, I na koi ko sa kapal ma gusney wani ra wani ko ta hoy ma. Aiy, oru ko kuralai sa. Na matse chhed khani gora ra sa. Annoy gora ne like get in once. Get in someone's hair wani ra wani sa. Thik sa. Or ko tapaila tha tha sa. Mind your own business. One era one answer. So mind your own business. But the better point up on it. Sunno by Gola. Mind your own business. Okay, you sound very rude. Man in some mind your own business. One era one like it. Takes up. Okay, next. See red. Hey, you are me. Color my bunny. I'm the party. Cause no idiom with with color ma. Red my see red. So see if if someone see sees red, they suddenly become very angry or annoyed. So कोई एकदम ही रिसाई कुछ और annoyed सा बने देखें. See red बने रह बने इंसा. So हम ले see red बने रह कौन सा? Okay. It's like today room. Up in arms. Bite someone's head off. Hit the roof. Get one's goat. In a huff. At dagger's drawn, mad at, at mad as mad as a hatter, black mood, blow a fuse, eat someone alive, get in someone's hair, mind your own business, see red. So, yo boy yo hamro anger, ay angry, resounding ko idiomatic expression ho dula. आमले यो वीडियो में दो इटा करा गोरे ये उटा से कन्फ्यूजन को और को से एंगर को ऐ ला यो सिमेट एग्जाम में इम्पोर्टेंस हो रहा हम इले सब पे पास्ट क्वेश्चन और उपने सॉल्व करे का सों तो वीडियो और उपने ये ना नवीन सीन वाला आई ता ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग अंटिल नेक्स्ट टाइम गुड बाय कीप लर्निंग 